Right, okay, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I'll speak to you later on. Cheers. Right, coffee time. Coffee is beautiful this morning. There's a little haze in the hanging about, which is really nice. It's just keeping the temperature down a little bit because the sun's not directly in your, in your skin. Right, I'm going to go in and get my coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay, plan of action for today. We're down. I've spoken to the manager in the farmer's market who is actually interested in buying the wool from the farm. Possibly the goat's milk when we start producing some. Uh, ah, coffee out there is so good. So, so good. So we're going to jump in the tractor. We are right next to this building here as part of the animal market. So going ahead in there, they've let a Start again. They've left a trailer outside for me because we are going to buy some goats. Which I'm looking forward to. I just hope I can transport them up without any incidents. Um, oh, that's a trailer there. Good. We'll go in and get them. Nope. Apologies, apologies. I need to do some of these bushes. <sighs> oh, sorry. Thank you. A little beacon on as well. Okay, I'm going to get hooked up to this trailer. And I'm going to buy some goats. Which is exciting. Get some goats. Just going to double check that the... Lights are working at the back of the trailer. Smashing. Yeah. Right. Turn that off. Turn that off. I'm going to go in, get some goats, get them loaded up, and get them up to the farm. Look at me. Amateur tractor driver. Leaving the beacon on. Better. Right, okay, I'll see you shortly. All loaded up, ready to go. This morning, just before I left for the farmer's market, the uh, council health and safety inspector came out. He's still at the farm just now. Um, he is walking through the petting farm area to have a look at it, work out if there's anything I need to do extra before I can start advertising for the farm. The insurance company are just waiting on his report so that they can then say yes, I am covered for any liabilities, which is awesome. And then I'll be able to start advertising. I've created a Facebook page, uh, which is then connected to the local community page. I haven't put anything on it yet about being open or opening things like that. I don't know how... Now, there's technical terms like soft open and, and all this kind of stuff, where I think you just get like people you know to come along and kind of test it out. But it's a petting farm. The animals are in the pens. I don't really know that there'll be much to test out. But we'll find out what the... Health and safety inspector says about it. I, I expect to be at least one thing, maybe two things. I hope it's not a, just a big flat no. But I'll go and speak to him first before I unload the goats. Uh, this should be okay for five, ten minutes. Find out exactly what 
we needed to do. Also have an update regarding the solar panels and the wind generator. It's not a wind generator because it doesn't generate wind but it generates electricity from the wind so you can see my confusion. I'll actually take the goats right up to the pen. Come on, out you go. Don't you go in there and eat that bloody thing. Better not be eating my bales. I've also found a bit of a mistake I made. It's quite a tight turn to try and get in there, especially with this thing. This thing's turning circle isn't that great. Massey's is, is beautiful and uh, straightforward. But not, um, not this tractor, so I might need to rethink the bales. But I quite like his Land Rover. It's quite a nice machine. You can tell it's health and safety. There's like beacons all over it and markings and chevrons. And... Right, it's just over there at the pigs, so... Switch us off. Well, let's go and speak to him. Oh, it is a beautiful view from here, isn't it? It's just amazing. Okay, so you on your recommendations, but you're not putting it on the report. But you think I should be putting some netting along the pig pen just for when the young ones have been born. So they don't sneak out. That that makes sense. I appreciate you telling me that. The goat pen, there's no issues with that. No, okay. Uh, the sheep, my, so my plan for the sheep, as I said, is to move, once the top has done his business, is I want to move him out into the pen. I've got some goats in the trailer at the moment, which I want to put in there. And then once the lambs have weaned off the mum, I want to put the lambs into the goat pen as well. So there's no no issues from your point of view about that. Okay. The bale structures, any any concerns? I mean they are quite sturdy. I mean it would take quite a lot to, to push it over. Uh, I don't anticipate having kids jumping all over this. The there will be somebody here, I'll be here, or there'll be somebody here to, not supervise, but can keep an eye on things. Um, it will be stipulated in the ticket that not to climb on this bale structure. And this is the big couch, bale of couch, you know, a couch of bales even. So I thought I might move it because if I moved it over, I know it's on a slight slope. But, I mean, that view is stunning, so I might move them over so that when they're taking a picture, the background is of the the land and the, the sheep and the pigs and the goats. Okay, right, no no issues there. Now, you were saying about the car park. Right, okay, so in terms of the car park, I need to move the bales. The bales are no use um, to man or beast. I just put them down there, just give them an idea of what the car park might look like. Right, okay. Right, okay, okay. I, I understand that. So if I took some of the netting that's on the goat pen just now, if I took some of that netting and cordoned off an area for the cars to come in and a path coming up to here, that would then stop people and, and, you know, kids kind of running about there as much as possible. Right, okay. Alright, okay. So, you are happy to sign off the report, is that right? Yeah, I mean, what I can do is I can take pictures and send them to you so that you've got evidence of what you've suggested to me. Right, okay, so if it's not going in the report, it doesn't need to be documented. Right, okay. For your own um, standpoint, though, I will email you the, the pictures so that you know in your head 
that I've done what's been asked. What I might have to do is leave, not bring the fencing all the way up because I'll need, well, I will need access with the tractor into the, the gate. Right, okay. So if I bring it up level to this post here and just create a pathway down. Right. Yeah, when it starts raining, it might be an issue. In the future, I mean, if things do do move forward, I would m maybe consider making this gravel all the way up here. And that way there'd be less chance of slipping and things like that. But you're happy that the hedges are, the hedge and the fence are a hard boundary. Right, okay. Right, perfect. And just on the tickets I put on the disclaimer about not climbing the bale tractor and not climbing fences and hedges and things. Okay. okay. My my get out of jail free card. Right, okay. Right. No, I appreciate it. Listen, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I know you're a busy guy, but um, if there's any issues, you know, don't hesitate. Give me a phone. I'll email you the pictures once I've got this done and um, we'll be good to go. And uh, if you and your family are ever looking for a, a, a day out or that, feel free. Come up. There'll be some tickets behind the, the desk for you. Right, okay. Appreciate it. Take care. Well. Well, well, well. So, he's not... In it. All the recommendations he's given me are only advice. They're not requirements. I get what he's saying. You know, th there's gaps round the pig pen. So, once the piglets are born, there is a chance that they could come out. So I will use some of this fencing and strapping all the way around just to pen them in a little bit. Uh, I'll do what I, what's, I did here and leave the, the feeding bit because I think this is a natural viewing point really, uh, especially for kids who are smaller. That is that. You heard what, was, what he was saying about the car park. So I need to move those bales and I need to cordon off a path so that people know that they're going up into this field here and they're not just wandering in, around in other fields and onto other folks property which fair enough i understand that right okay let's get the goats unloaded and do you know what i know i've had a coffee but i thought i feel another coffee coming on so I'll unload the goats, I'll go and grab a coffee, and then, because I've still got some of this material lying about, I think my first plan will be do the pig pen first, get that done, and then do the car park. And then, ah, is it good to go? Our petting farm is coming along. Okay, I'll see you once we've got the goats in. And just like that, they're already in their new home. Oh, I better get some water in there. They won't be happy. The lucky, lucky devil. They all look the same. I mean, the top or the ram looks different to the sheep. But I can't actually tell which one the male one is. I mean, if I got close enough, you know, I, I know how I'd be able to tell. But, um, yeah, so one lucky goat. As I'm with 10 females. I think that's a good number at the moment for for the pen. I don't want to overcrowd it. I certainly want them to have enough room to get things uh, chill out, relax. Right. I'm going to go get my coffee. And I'll need to return this trailer. And then I can get going. Right, I've had my coffee. I'm all geared up. I'm going to show you what I've done. But I do need to move these. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have done that if I tried, could I? New farmer coming through. Doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Can't even get the tractor into gear. 
Oh, I never purported to be a professional. I know John said only to put one on, but I've got the back weight on, so I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to. Oh, I'm making an absolute meal of this. Right, there we go. Alright, let's see. I'm going to show you my creation. This is going to be the car park. So, I'm not going to put bays out. I'm just going to hope people just use a lot bit of common sense to do that. This is going to be the walkway up. And I strategically left it that there's enough room to get the tractor up and down, if need be. I've also taken the recommendation that I'm going to stop the fence here, so that I can get all the machinery in that I need. Now these are hay bales, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack some of them over here and feed the goats when they need it. can uh, stare at the bales. There we go. Goats, I've, I've put water in, so don't worry. Nobody can be concerned. I've put water in the goats. Water in the goats? I've put the water in a trough for the goats. This is my other creation that I've done. I didn't want to put the netting up too high because, you know, small kids, they're down at this height, they're not really going to see very much if, uh, if it's too covered over. It'll be enough to stop them from escaping unless they decide to dive through the troughs, which I'm hoping they don't. My very small petting farm is coming together. Obviously the bales are there for the pictures. I mean that there's huge opportunity. And also oh! So I can get in okay. Getting back out is a bit of a an issue. But that's what I'm gonna do. So everything's set up, I'm gonna move these bales. I'm gonna go get some something to eat. That's probably going to be I've got a couple of ideas and things I need to do tomorrow, but I will come back to you tomorrow and let you know what on earth I've planned next. Yeah, two bales is enough. You can feel it. Right, I'll get this done. That's all the bales moved. I'm going to close the gate over, I'm going to go down and just, I'm going to create a, an opening for the car park, just so that it makes it obvious about what's, what's going on, where they need to park. I have also looked into some signage as well, um, when they come into the farmyard they have no real idea where they're going, so I want to look into signage, get some posts made up so that uh, they've got an idea where they're going. Anyway. That is me. I'm going to go and grab something to eat. And I think that will be me for today. See what's on the television. <laughs>